Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video and in this video we're going to be doing a little starter guide with a bit of a gameplay showcase on Gold Mythic Zhang and this is basically going to be how I potentially build him as a character, the sort of team I'd build him in and I think there's something quite specific you need to focus on when it comes to actually building his team. Um, first off I will say if you want to check out how Zhang's kit works you will want to go and check out my preview. I break down the rush, signature move, passives, and the brand new special skill, as well as take a little sneak peek at the weapon. So if you want to go check out the full breakdown of the character, I would go do that over there. But just as a quick preview here, I will say in that video, I did mention that there was going to be a small change to his base stats. And as you can see, these are his new base stats. He is going to have 35,110 attack. 17,555 defense and 35,110 uh, HP. I believe his attack has gone up and his defense has gone down. You can also look at the um, adrenaline rush. And again, a random teammate now gets 75% attack for each living teammate before it was 50%. I did mention that in that video that it was going to get boosted. And here is the proof. Now, I would say when it comes to his passives, you want to max out every single one. I'd say every single one is extremely important if you had to sacrifice one over the others precision is probably the least important because he doesn't do a huge amounts of control that could potentially get resisted like to a high level but it's always good to have precision because he does defense down he does heal reduction and there are characters that have this inbuilt into their passives inbuilt into like team passives maybe even weapons and so on and so forth so you want to try and have a better chance of hitting those when you actually do them. So I still say precision is worth upgrading, but it is the one that you could maybe just be a bit slower on if you are a bit short on resources. The rest of them, very good for his kit. You want to get the best out of his kit as quickly as possible. Now, when it comes to Zhang's combat mods, I would say this is a opportunity for you to use a very kind of strange build for this character. You could go with like HP set, an attack mod you know if you have one in paragon these are not very usable generally speaking but it would actually be pretty usable here on jang you obviously increases hp which would increase his survivability you'd increase his attack as well which would increase that signature of damage a little bit but obviously it's 20 percent of the team's attack again so it isn't going to have a huge impact on his overall damage output but you want to try and increase the survivability. You could also just go for a straight HP on HP and just forego attack stat altogether just to increase his survivability massively. But we're going to stick with attack on HP just because this is our underutilized mod and it has some usability here. And I think most people would have one unused if they have ever actually pulled one out of a crate. Now, when it comes to the mod in the top right hand corner, he can't do trait damage except on his basic attacks. His signature move doesn't do trait damage. So I would go with defense versus. And you want to kind of figure out what kind of teams you're going to be attacking with Zhang. But if you're going to use him in a lot of teams, you might want to go with defense versus alert. Just to increase his survivability against alert characters. Like I said, he can't do trait damage on attack. But he can definitely take trait damage. So reducing that trait damage is going to be quite a big thing the defense versus alert here in the meantime but if you're seeing yourself primarily using him against like you know bite or um denise teams where they have a lot of strong characters and maybe some other fast characters here and there you might want to go with defense versus strong or defense versus fast obviously that part is up to you now when it comes to the resist i would say the thing that you want to protect the most is going to be his signature move that does mean day's resist is vital for this character in my opinion just because he can get dazed at the beginning of the fight and throughout the fight. And that signature move is so powerful. That is one of the main attractions for his kit. I have not got one on a HP set. But if we go to attack set, I think I've got one. Now, I would say going offset for a 90% resist on days is definitely worth it. You want to try and stay on set as much as possible. But yeah, definitely worth it here in my opinion. Now, moving on to the auxiliary mods. There's not actually that much you can do here to get a boost it's kind of a strange situation anything that is attack based like bleed burn or ap drain will not work on him and then realistically him giving defense bonuses like getting graze or defense while stunned or something like this would just be kind of a waste especially on a hp mod so it's, like i said it's not much you can use you could try like attack while taunted or attack while impaired 
to boost the signature move damage, but I'm not sure that's going to work because it's effectively a deal damage, which works like Carol's. I think it's going to run into the same issues that Carol's runs into where it doesn't seem to proc attack while taunted. You would have to actually test this out to a good standard. Like I say, if you have any ideas at the bottom left hand corner, please let me know. I don't think things like attack while taunted, attack while slowed, attack while impaired will actually work. But any ideas on this bottom left-hand corner? Otherwise, please let me know in the comments down below. Now, the final mod, I would generally speaking go for a second resist. And this resist, I would go for more of a meta resist. I think in the future, there's likely to be something that comes out against control characters. We've been having a lot of control characters come out recently. So I expect there to be a character on defense to come out that taunts all control characters or stuns all control characters. If this is the case, you want to obviously have a stun resist if it's stun all control characters. Fortunately, Zhang actually has um, focus in his passives, so he doesn't need confuse resist, he doesn't need taunt resist. But if, like I say, a stun comes out on control characters, stun should slot 100% right in here. Otherwise, it's up to you on basically what you're having trouble with. Maybe it's attack down, maybe it's bleed may it be it's burn whatever that resist is you should slot it in here i will just place stun resist for the time being but like i said if a character comes out in the future on defense that targets control role characters specifically with a certain control i would slot it in here unless it is confused or taunt he should be safe against that because of his focus so now we have slotted all the mods you can see his stats have been boosted quite nicely remember his attack and his HP were actually the same off of base. So you can see a set bonus of 16% is going to increase him to 40,763 HP. And then just the actual mod of attack is going to boost him up to 44,590. A bit more survivability, a bit more damage. Exactly what you would kind of want on an attack team. Now when it comes to Zhang's base weapon, I think it's actually pretty good. You could make it 55% attack and then make the next choice on what you want to do. You could change that second slot to HP to give him a bigger HP boost so he's got even more survivability. He does not need AP on attack to get anything going with his rush because his signature move can be used every single turn. But you could decide to swap out the third slot instead and go for something else that could potentially actually be beneficial. There can be ones that heal teammates in the third slot based on Zhang's HP or just percentage chance to happen that could actually be pretty useful as well maybe there's one in the third slot i think that gives random ap and attack buffs and stuff like this so there's definitely options you could go for in the third slot and still keep this base weapon i'd say the fourth slot is very useful to boost the overall attack of the team especially if you use at least i'd say one other strong character in the team that's gonna be a very very nice boost overall 30 percent attack to all teammates except for zhang will boost that overall attack stat for the entire team making Zhang signature move hit a lot harder now another weapon you could do is a weapon kind of like this maybe even this weapon itself where it has a revive in the third slot i know a lot of people who got a lot of off duty shane's baseball bats because he was in a stash and i think it's been in other things too this one it's been upgraded to 55% attack, but you could upgrade it to 50% attack. And like I said, the huge bonus could be switched out for something like HP instead. That part is completely up to you. But the revive is going to be good for any takedowns he gets. And he's going to be getting takedowns quite often. And also the last slot is good because it's an improved 1535, which will increase his attack stat quite nicely. The leader's attack stat and the other adjacent character as well. And that will increase the overall attack stat of the entire team. And then any buffs on top of that will be amplified even further, making the signature move of Zhang hit even harder. Now in today's test, I'm going to be using his base weapon, unupgraded, so you can see what it is like off base with this weapon. And you can upgrade this how you would want to. I would say 55% attack, 30% HP is a good start, but obviously it's up to you. The thing when you come to building Zhang's teams out is that he needs an entire attack team to have good attack. The easiest way to do this is to build a team with 1535s in pretty much every single slot. Zhang himself is not going to have a 1535, 
but he will be boosting the attack of everybody by 15% plus 15% for every extra strong character I use. So I think a character that could be really useful with Zhang is Krag because Krag just actually increases the attack stat of all characters in the team, which would be Zhang plus everybody. Remember, the overall attack stat of the entire team will benefit Zhang's actual damage output. And then also, I put the um, Shane's weapon in Krag's hands with the boosted 1535, which will also boost Zhang plus Krag plus Zhang's signature move in, in turn. Plus the fact that Krag is also a strong character means the strong attacks weapon will now give 30% attack to the entire team. So if I don't use any other strong characters, which I will try not to use, just to show you how it is with just two characters, then you'll see the amplification of the damage is quite high. In my test, in my preview, I was hitting for 130k without really trying too hard to build the team. This time around, I'm going to be building it a little bit more. A bonus with Krag as well is he's very good against Outlast characters, which Zhang is not so good against because he can't control them before putting them in Outlast, whereas Krag can. Now, the leader I can use is going to be Gold Mythic Anniversary Maggie, and this is going to mean that I can hit payback characters, so on and so forth, without any problem for the first two turns. Very useful when it comes to the build team I'm about to build because I'm not going to have any camouflage. I am going to have to hit paybacks most likely because they are everywhere. So having Maggie, even one copy of her, would be extremely, extremely important for this sort of attack team. And it makes Zhang a lot more usable by anyone who actually does pull him. Now, as you can see, the attack stat of these three characters combined is pretty much 450k. Just a little li bit less. Don't forget, they would also get 30% attack boost on Maggie and Krag as it stands. And that would mean that you know, Zhang's already hitting significantly hard without even the final two characters being added. Now, as these first three characters are very damage based, I'm going to try and pick two characters that are either going to be a bit more support based or control based. And we can see what kind of what we can get going here. Now, the last two characters I'm going to slot in are going to be Job, who brings crosshairs to the table. He's going to be landing crosshairs every turn. As long as I target someone with crosshairs with Zhang, they're going to be down for the fight. The same with when I target someone with Krag. And then Chance the Trader can obviously um, command Krag to rush turn one if I so wish. He can also cleanse days, which will be quite important for this team because there's quite a lot of nice signature moves. And also we do have a ransack weapon on Job, the, uh, the Marcus Spanner, where I can steal three effects from the enemy team. If you are still struggling with control with this sort of team, Having someone like Trader as the leader could be useful as well. I don't necessarily think I need Maggie for the damage. The issue is if I face payback characters, this team's going to run into a bit of trouble. Okay, so if we start the fight off straight away, we can already see some of our characters have been dazed. I can decide to remove this with Chance the Trader, which I'm actually going to do. And then I can see some characters on the enemy team have, um, have crosshairs, which I'll try and target these characters first. Crosshairs is always nice. The defense down is going to be really nice here. That was the application from Zhang himself. And then from here, I can decide to try and um, obliterate other characters. I can steal away this buff here. We can try and do as much damage as possible with the signature move. And then we should be able to take him out. Um, these sort of characters, really, really powerful. I love Zhang here. But I want to see the kind of damage his signature move is going to do off just straight away. Let's see what happens here. I'll do it against Clementine. Like this should give us a good idea. The defense down, remember, doesn't count with his signature move. What sort of damage have I managed to get up to? 214k. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. And then we will blitz with um, Craig. And that was a pretty nice takedown on this team. Here is another team. This one is a bit more problematic. It has got Bite as the leader. As we know, he is a bit of a problematic character. There is um, obviously some issues when it comes to uh, the boss on this team of course so what we're going to do is we're going to um to try and just take out characters periodically let's see if we can do that uh, we're going to take out her straight away she did get her ransack stolen away by job and now i've removed the uh, taunt that she does we'll try and take out this character as well he has got um he has got uh the uh halo but there's not much we can do about that i think we're going to get into a race with uh with this team because of um, because of Bite on the defense team. But it shouldn't be too much of an issue, hopefully. Fingers crossed. 
Um, this is where the revive weapon would come in extremely, extremely nicely if we had it. But we don't. But we don't. We are going to be able to take this character out. Crosshairs is going to be coming in. And um, we might be able to just finish off some other characters. Let's have a little look. Do the attack here. I do love that Zhang's uh, shield is just going to keep him up for the fight. It's so good. So good. So good indeed. We need to do it on this turn. Will we do it? Will we do it? I think we will. I think we will somehow. I think we can. It's going to be tight. Not exactly. This is what blind attacking in... Um, in... Um, Raids gets you. You just don't know what you're going to face. <laughs> you just don't know what you're going to face. But that wasn't too bad, all things considered. We can also use it against a Davy team. Kind of the same sort of issues that we're going to face here with this sort of character. Because we can do so much damage. Nice takedown straight away. You can calculate that damage quite consistently. And he's decapped because we do have Job in the team. We do have some issues with the, uh, the controls here. So I am going to just... Um, Remove these. And uh, it's a shame we don't have more Ransack or more Cleanse. That might be something you might want to add to the team. Um, unfortunately, we did have Job here. But what we can do is we can try and target someone with Crosshairs. And that way we can try and take them out. It doesn't look like Crosshairs landed on the right characters. They do have Crosshairs resistance on these three characters. So there's not much we can do here. Um, what we'll try and do is we'll do a signature move here. There might be some Reflect, but it'll be okay. And then um, the revive's not going to do anything. And then the next turn, we'll try and blow this team up as much as possible. Guardian Shields are going to come in. Hopefully going to block some damage. Not enough. Not enough. I definitely need some revive potential in this team. Maybe Zhang with a revive weapon would be good. We'll have to really think about it. We'll have to really think about it. Um, and we can, just, we can just blow this character up again. Get rid of him. No problem. Maybe we can get rid of this guy. We're going to get him with the double attack. It doesn't look like it. It's close. It is close. Now, as your characters do get taken out, your overall attack stat will start declining. So you've got. To, that's why revives probably is a good idea in this team, because you can see he's now gone down to 186k, which is still a massive amount of damage. But um, obviously, it's going to be a bit more of a problem when it comes to um, being useful. Just simple as that. We have got some Halo on my characters. So anyone gets taken out, it won't be as big a problem. Let's see how much... We can check the HP of enemies. So he's got double 86k, which is 172. I should take him out. There we go. Nice. And then... Um, I don't think anyone's needing anything kind of cleansed. But we'll just, we'll just do this. And then her HP is going to be much higher. I wouldn't necessarily say, uh, again, blind attacks. Don't know what I'm attacking. Hers is way higher. We'll try and take her down a little bit. Are we going to do enough? We've got such a good attack buff because her H her attack goes up to 250%. Yeah, very, very nice indeed on that. Okay, so with just some limited testing, I would say that I maybe need to have a revive weapon on Jang. Crag was getting absolutely focused. Um, maybe I could somehow nullify that in a different way. I'm not really sure what I could do to switch that around. I think having the attack of Maggie was very useful because if Krag does get taken out, Maggie's attack buff builds up and that makes sure that Zhang's damage output is still quite high. So that's actually quite nice. You just got to make sure you take out those paybacks early on in the fight. Remember, someone like Maggie's buff only lasts for two turns. Zhang's output is really good. You can target very problematic characters on the defense team. You might want to maybe switch it up for some other characters. I think if you used way more dangerous characters, let's for, say, for instance, instead of Crag, you use someone like um, Eva and Ghost, this team would massively improve. But I was just trying to show you some like baseline nice characters that you could use. Eva and Ghost it would just be instantly boosted team. The, the combination between Zhang and Eva and Ghost could be really, really nice, where even if she doesn't take someone out and normalizes them, then at least Zhang can just one-shot them. I do think Job is kind of underrated that crosshairs that he places you could see in those fights that i just showed before so many decaps and that's all down to him um nice it is effectively control you're controlling the fact that they can't be revived so and, and in combination with characters that can one shot like jang like um the previous release of zachary 
these characters, just as long as they take someone out and they've got crosshairs on them, they're down. They're gone. They're not coming back. So it's pretty much as simple as that with Zhang here. If you have any ideas on a kind of team build you throw together, let me know in the comments. I'm going to tweak this a little bit. Maybe mess around with Eva and Ghost on the team instead of Craig. We'll have to wait and see. Like I say, any thoughts, leave them down below. I want to thank you very much for tuning in. And as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving.